Be filled with wonder, you will enter the realm of modesty. Nanak divided the existence into four realms for the purpose of explanation and talking about the realm of ignominy or modesty. We are never filled with wonder or what we call deja vu. The moment you are filled with wonder, your eyes are always innocent. Then you attain to a new dimension. From time to time, using the social media as a means of communication, I keep on posting the, some of the statements, some of the messages which are very important. And you will realize many times you ask a question. I do not want to answer this directly. Instead, create a situation. You are stumbling along the life's roads and all of a sudden you find something that answers your question or many unanswered questions. This is the unique way the master or the existence works. Many a times you would have realized that a question has arisen or is about to and the answer has reached you. This is one of the unique way. A master is a unique phenomenon. You cannot capture him in or through your finite cognition. Everyone wants to connect to his physical presence. Everything that you see in the universe, whether it is food or a person or anything else, has two aspects, the physical one and the other is the subtler one. We want to connect to the physical through the physical aspect. This is good and there is nothing wrong in it. However, beyond this is his subtle presence. He wants you to be connected to his subtle presence or innerness. In a way, you are connecting to the sacred heart. There are two ways to connect. You can connect through the mind or you connect through the Kalp, the Sacred Heart. When you are connected to the Master through the Sacred Heart, out of love, then you can be aware of His subtle presence, remember and remember transformation happens only when you are connected to His subtle presence. There is a bridge between, your love becomes the bridge between. The connection always happens unknown to you. Something like this you have never experienced before. However, when this begins to happen, consciously your inner progress is intensified. At one of these stages, the Master knows you are ready for more intense process. Then he initiates you. This does not mean that your inner journey has not begun. Certainly the inner journey begins as soon as you are born. You continue to move through various stages of consciousness and when it settles, you attain God's spirit. Messages like these I post in profuse numbers it does not matter where I am, what am I doing, if I have a few moments, I will just write and post it. This is one of such statements. When I was waiting for my customs broker to come in and I hand over the documents which I had to clear a particular shipment, there is a crowd, people sitting all around. It is the marketplace. But in the marketplace, I am not connected to that marketplace. Instead, I am connected to my innerness and through that, 
all those who are connected to me through a bond of love and awareness. I wrote this post. It is not edited. It is not checked. I wrote it and I finished posting it. These are important. These comes as unasked questions. Answers to those questions. Nanak is taking away all that is superfluous and gives you a new dimension, a new ground to walk on, a new air to breathe in. I have heard about Michael Angelo. He was a sculpturist, a unique. And in a way, he was a master-like. He used to spend his pastime by a shop. The shopkeeper had a big piece of stone lying behind his shop. And to him that was a nuisance. So one day he asked Michael, he said, Michael, I have a big piece of stone lying behind my shop. I want to give it to you. Michael did not have the resources to buy that piece of stone or arrange to transport it to his place. He said, 